said, by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review of Torquil, or Torquil. Um, it's like another free, I think it's a demo, um, or it might be the full game, I'm not sure. It's on for, what you call it, PS4. It's on the PlayStation Plus for free. And basically, that's where you've got to head to, that black square, and whatever button you press extends like a beam from that side of your square. And the music correlates with how you move. So if you if you're going forwards, the music plays forwards. But if you go back, the music goes in rewind, and like it pauses and skips and like you know what I mean stuff like that happens. So I like that little touch. It's basically just a puzzle game, and um, where you've got to like I said, you've got to get through the level by pressing the buttons to help you get over each. Uh, obstacle so it gets a bit qu complicated because you have to keep an eye on what color is got contact surface with the floor or whatever surface you're using for so it becomes a bit faff on and then in the because I was trying this out really late last night and I couldn't be bothered so after a while I just got a bit frustrated and I just started pressing all the buttons and just trying to like bump it and just get through the level by just mashing the buttons and just not hitting any obstacles but like you'll see that it starts getting more complicated and more complicated but if you start taking your time hit the music Music goes forwards and backwards, whatever direction you're traveling. Um, but like I said, look, I was just using square. I was just using one button, and it might, helps to get you across. And then I thought, well, you can just press all your buttons, like, to help you. You know, like, so nothing touches the floor. So there's, like, skill involved to, like, try and, like, make it through the course, but without like getting confused because it's like I say it's pink and red you know like square and circle they're very similar especially when you like you're panicking and you've got to do it quickly so it's hard but it's addictive and at the top if you see it tells you I'm in chamber three but it tells you your overall time as well um like of what you've took how many goals um shit like that so it, it does really come in handy um, if you want to have like a, a couple of matches, like if you're getting pissed or something and you want to just have a quick game with your mates before you just go out or something like that. I think it, it's, it's fun, but you've got to be in the right frame of mind because I'm not the best uh, patient, I'm not the most patient person in the world like, to start off with. So unless I can like find it if i know i can do it then i'll stick in at it but if i try it and it's just too hard i've got to be in the right frame because most games i'll just fly through and i'll just like rush i'll just rush it and if it's shit i'll just turn it off and delete it but like i said playing this last night um, and <laughs> like i'm just pressing all the buttons in but last night i was um i couldn't be bothered i was just late i was trying it out and i just recorded a bit of footage just thinking oh, i'll do it tomorrow and i'll do my review tomorrow but like you see what i mean you just press square triangle x and like just go around the pad in a circle triangle circle x square triangle and just mash the buttons it puts out a beam so you're never touching the floor so i was just going mental but if you look see there's like seesaws and there's um later on the next level there's like um like a flow to the wall you know like it's blue and it's like flowing in a certain direction and if you enter the wall it like takes you that direction but then there's like red squares oh, i got stuck on this bit for fucking ages there's like red squares um where you die so they're obviously a part of like the puzzle like you say it's it's very self-explanatory i mean you can see even if i didn't talk i mean you would still know what day but it's just one of those games where it's worth downloading um it's free and if you like the look of it just may as well go and get it i mean you can always add it to your library and then download it again later if you can't be asked or you haven't got the room um because little big planet is free this month as well little big planet 3 the whole game and that's something like 60 60 gig or something like that <clears throat> so you need a bit of space to play that because that is amazing that game um it's not a kids game really it's i mean just look for, for me review on my channel if you're more interested because I, I love it mate so i could talk about it all the time but this is free it's free to download if you like talk well then you may as well go and get it 
That's it. See you later.